Stem cell engineering is a field in which the tools and technologies of engineering are used to understand stem cell behavior and ask fundamentally new questions in stem cell biology, and also to manipulate stem cells in order to gain new insights into stem cell biology and lead toward potential clinical applications. Largely, the stem cell field has been dominated by the basic biology. And if we are really to ultimately move to therapies, commercial products, there is a real need for engineers. Perhaps I'm biased, but engineers have very versatile skills that can be applied to a variety of problems in the real world. And on the flip side, the field of stem cells is such a rich and deep and complex and young field that there are many problems that can be solved. As the field grows, it's become clear that to make a real impact, uh, we not only have to do good stem cell biology, but good engineering, and we have to bring those together. Whereas it started as maybe a lot of small or individual or small pockets of collaborations, I think that now, on the national level, on the global level, it's starting to rapidly have its own identity. The goal of regenerative medicine is essentially the body to, to cure itself. Of course, when we think about regeneration, you think about cutting the tail off a lizard and the lizard grows the tail back, right? So unfortunately, humans can't do that. Uh, but we're trying to do something like the equivalent of that. You put together stem cells and engineering and it's something truly remarkable. It's a major game changer, I think, in science in particular, induced pluripotent stem cells, which are stem cells derived from patients, either their healthy or their disease state, is carried within those cells, which now you can use for, for discovery of drugs and or treatments. In the future, in regenerative medicine therapeutics, we may be able to inject these cells or somehow deliver these cells to a patient who has had a heart attack and perhaps restore some of the heart function that they lost. If you begin to consider the concept that a, a dosage of cells could repair a tissue, then it, people start talking about the, the phrase one and done, that you could have a single administration cure for a disease. That would have tremendous impact, both on the quality of life of the patients as well as the entire economics of our healthcare system. I think it's a revolution in terms of new type of industry that we can have where the product is the cell, the cell to be used for treatment. One major challenge is the sheer numbers of cells that are needed. You need to be able to produce these cells not just reproducibly, but also at scale. Consider how many cells it's going to take to be able to replace you know, a region of tissue that's been damaged due to a heart attack. And in addition, if you multiply the number of patients by the number of cells you need to generate, such as 10 to the 9th, a billion cells, this ends up being just massive numbers of cells. So we need very scalable and economical and reproducible processes to create them. There's still a big space between when a discovery of a new technology occurs and that technology gets out into a new company or gets licensed to a company. And that, that in-between space where this technology gets validated, it becomes robust, it figures out where its value is in the value chain, is something that really needs to be done in partnership between government and industry and academia. We don't have any shortage of fundamentally new concepts and ideas that are coming out of the brilliant scientists that are working in this area. What we don't have is unlimited resources to explore these ideas. The investments that are made in the ideas that are ongoing could really have a, a tremendous impact. Having opportunities and creating opportunities where we can take existing collaborations or a, a funding mechanism that is going to encourage new collaborations to form is critically vital. We have people coming into the field with quantitative backgrounds in the physical sciences and engineering who need to work together with biologists. And that interface ends up being a very dynamic and exciting interface. With the increased investment in stem cell engineering, the logical question is, what is gonna be the result of that? And it's really gonna have an important impact on the future in terms of the acceleration of new drugs, the development of new cell therapies to address unmet patient needs, and maybe the bottom line is to really help grow the bioeconomy of the 21st century.